We have made it to the final five teams in this series. Welcome back to Not So Mid Major, where we have been analyzing every single NHL team between now until NHL Draft Day, seeing what are their NHL picks for this year, what picks did they trade away, and what picks did they receive in return. And as always, if you've been enjoying this series, please hit like, please hit subscribe. Let me know what you want me to do differently for next year if I decide to do this series for next year, which I probably will because I enjoyed doing all this. So let's talk about the Boston Bruins. Now I know I'm probably gonna get a lot of hate for this video just because I'm gonna talk about the Boston Bruins, but what are the draft picks for the Bruins for this year? Well, they traded away their first and second round picks, they kept their third and fourth round picks, traded away their fifth round pick, kept their sixth and seventh round pick, but then gained an LA Kings seventh round pick. So then now you should already know the routine of this. We're gonna go round by round and discuss the different trades. This first round is a three-way trade by the Boston Bruins, Minnesota Wild, and Washington Capitals in which the Boston Bruins received Dmitry Orlov. 50% of his contract salary was maintained, Andrei Sletnikov, and Garnett Hathaway. Washington Capitals receiving Craig Smith, a 2023 first round pick, that is the Boston Bruins, a 2024 third round pick, and a 2025 second round pick, both of which are the Boston Bruins, and the Minnesota Wild receiving 50% of Dmitry Orlov's salary, plus a 2023 fifth round pick, that is also the Boston Bruins' pick. So before we discuss all these pieces, we're not going to need to discuss anything about the Minnesota Wild because they haven't picked anyone or drafted anyone yet. I do want to touch base on that 2023 first round pick of the Boston Bruins that was traded away from the Washington Capitals to the Toronto Maple Leafs along with Eric Gustafson in exchange for Rasmus Sandin. If you want to know more details about that, please go look at the videos for Toronto Maple Leafs and Washington Capitals where I discuss those in detail but the Washington Capitals receiving Craig Smith. He was drafted in the fourth round in 2009 by the Nashville Predators. With the Predators spread nine years, 661 games, seventh most in franchise, 162 goals, fifth most in franchise, 168 assists, 330 points, which is seventh most in franchise, 42 power play goals tied for fifth most, and 22 game winning goals, ninth most in franchise history. And just a little bit of drama that I want to talk about with Craig Smith, especially with this trade. He did score a game-winning goal in the 2021 Stanley Cup playoffs in double overtime against the Washington Capitals. Apparently after that, Alexander Ovechkin said something to him in Russian, and we can all assume that was probably something that you would not say to a particular family member and probably your mortal enemy. And I hope that was all brushed aside because with the Washington Capitals, Craig Smith played 22 games, 5 goals, 1 assist, and 6 points. And now what did the Boston Bruins receive? Well, let's first start off with Garnett Hathaway. He was undrafted and attended a summer camp for the Boston Bruins and Pittsburgh Penguins, but then signed a minor league deal with the Calgary Flames. He actually did get NHL experience with the Calgary Flames for 4 years, 175 games, 16 goals, 24 assists, 40 points, 460 hits. After the Calgary Flames, he was a free agent and signed a four-year deal with the Washington Capitals. With the Capitals, played the four years, 257 games, 38 goals, 38 assists, 76 points, 816 hits. With the Boston Bruins, after this trade, 25 games, four goals, two assists, 70 hits. And now Andrei Svetlakov. Well, it's just the signing rights to him. He was drafted in the sixth round in 2017 by the Minnesota Wild. He's mostly just stayed in the KHL for eight years, 333 games, 52 goals, 77 assists, and 129 points. And now for the last piece of this trade, Dmitry Orlov. He was drafted in the second round in 2009 by the Washington Capitals. With the Capitals played 11 years, 686 games, 60 goals, 196 assists, 256 points, 782 block shots, and 1,089 hits. With the Boston Bruins, 23 games, 4 goals, 13 assists, 17 points, 23 blocks, and 49 hits. And then now on to the second round, where there was a trade made with the Anaheim Ducks back on March 19th of 2022, in which the Anaheim Ducks received John Moore, Uro Vakanainen, a 2022 first round pick, a 2023 second round pick, and a 2024 second round pick, all of which are the Boston Bruins. Boston Bruins receiving Hampus Lindholm, 50% of his contract salary was maintained, and Cody Curran. 
discuss the Anaheim Ducks side of this. That 2022 first round pick, they decided to select Nathan Gotcher, who in the QMJHL has played four years, 199 games, 80 goals, 78 assists, and 158 points. Uro Vakaninen. He was drafted in the first round by the Boston Bruins in 2017, but the Bruins played four years, 31 games, zero goals, six assists. With the Anaheim Ducks, two years, 37 games, zero goals, four assists, so is still looking for his first ever NHL goal. John Moore, on the other hand, has played a total of 544 NHL games, 38 goals, 80 assists. Two days later after this trade, Ducks tried to trade Moore and Ryan Kessler to the Golden Knights, except Evgeny did a no trade clause, so if you remember that, that's what happened to him. So as a result, John Moore stayed with the Ducks, and honestly, that's the last we ever really heard of him. He didn't really do much after this trade, unfortunately, so who knows, could he have won his Stanley Cup with the Golden Knights? I don't know, but this is what happened to John Moore. Boston Bruins on the other hand receiving Cody Curran. He was undrafted and signed with the Anaheim Ducks back in 2020 at the age of 29 years old. He's mostly stayed in the KHL, so who knows if he's going to make any NHL experience. Hampus Lindholm on the other hand drafted in the first round by the Anaheim Ducks back in 2012 with the Ducks. One games, 57 goals, and 164 assists. With the Boston Bruins, two years, 90 games, 10 goals, 48 assists. And we've already talked about the fifth round, so let's go into the seventh round with honestly one of the most boring trades to even talk about. There's a trade made with the LA Kings back on July 8th of 2022, in which the LA Kings and Boston Bruins just flip flop seventh round picks. LA Kings receiving a 2022 seventh round pick that is the Boston Bruins. Boston Bruins are going to pick for the LA Kings this year in 2023 in the seventh round. So with that 7th round pick last year, the LA Kings decided to select Caleb Lawrence, who has played in the OHL for 88 games, 21 goals, 24 assists for 83 points. And that is it for this one. We have four other teams to talk about after this one, so please hit like if you like these videos. Please hit subscribe as well. I have four other teams to talk about, and if you can guess those four other teams, more power to you. So until next time, please stay safe and please stay healthy.